who's gonna have some food for the first time? Look at you. Look at you. Not you, Penny. Hi. Hey, Tanky. Pinky, that's rude. You just jump right in front of the camera in front of his his time. Who's going to have something to eat? Woo! You like that? How's it going? Oh, my God. How's it going? How's it going, Tank? Boy, can't lead a kill without the drugs and the cap. No. Boy, if I went in some neck, baby, yeah, that's on my back, boy. Get ear to the max, boy. Finny, that's a fact, boy. I'm from a place where it's dark outside. The late nights, you can't walk outside. Bullets got the names on them. Hit you when your homeboys ride. As your mom shed a tears and she wondering why. Uptown double H, man, it's beat a five. MP in the cut, yeah, we get it live. Hey. Moses can't go to any hood, but connect some could, baby, some hella good, baby. Okay, a fab MPY used to be. Uh -huh. Page Street, we was right next to JB. Yeah. Hot box, not the Pontiac, talk couldn't see. And it's life that we live, man, it's full of sin. So we cope with the pain, bottle with a gin. Ay, New York, brim, fresh corn, red Tim. Nice games on the corner, can't play if your pocket's slim. Ay, can't play, boy, never him. And don't play the game if you ain't trying to win. Ay, I'm just trying to change my L's to 100 wins. Hey, big dubs, you feel me? Yeah. I'm just trying to change my L's to 100 wins. Hey, big dubs, you feel me? Yeah. I'm just trying to turn my L's to 100 wins. 100 wins. Only time I'm gonna tell what it really what did. It did. I'm just trying to turn my L's to 100, 100 wins. wins. What's up, y'all? Hey, y'all. Hey, what's up? What's up? Okay, so I know. I have not vlogged in like probably like two weeks um because i just had so much going on hold on guys i just had like so much going on i wanted to make sure the lens was clean i had like a lot going on like literally like you know end of school um and i was just trying to get back in the group of things then i got sick again um i think my allergies was the reason this time because my sinus was, was in so much, it so inflamed, and, and then it gave me an ear infection. So they had to put me on steroids. So, you know what? I really feel like I dodged a bullet, like, serious. Like, I dodged a full-blown ricochet of bullets. You know how much I love my ex-husband. I love him because he's part of my life. You know what I'm saying? So I will always love him. But to be back with him, that'll never happen in life. Like, I, I don't love, I love myself too, Okay. But we have kind of been speaking to one another, conversing with one another a lot lately. Like, when I say a lot, like maybe once every other week, that's a lot to me, okay? Because I don't really want to fuck with you. But um, the past couple times he's been speaking to me, he be under the influence. And I try to give him the benefit of the doubt because I understand that people go through stuff. You know, missing his mom, missing his kid, Buzzle. You know, he, he, he keeps telling me how much he loves me and how much he misses me but i'm cool all right i'm cool but i miss him too because i do miss the good parts and i do miss him i'd be lying to myself and to y'all if i said i didn't but you know lately he just been getting out of hand like really out of hand and like you call me he call, but let me tell y'all this past weekend he kept calling my phone i probably got about 30 missed calls on there no lie with facetime and calling included together combined I, I had to block him. I had to block him, but somehow he still was able to get through with the FaceTime audio and the FaceTime calls. But it said block. I don't even know how it happened, but he kept FaceTiming, and I just kept declining. Okay? But you're telling me you miss me, you love me, you miss the kids, you, you know, you, you felt like you was going to spend the rest of your life out with me. And that's how I felt, too. The same things you were saying is the same thing I felt. But I'm not going to allow that to to pull up my heartstrings. No, nope, no sorry, Bob. Not gonna allow it. Um, but you be drinking, like, and I'm so disappointed because he was clean for like what four, four or five years, something like that. 
and then you went back to but i understand people go through shit, you know and that be like the part where you gotta have strep now you're just drinking and seem like you're just drinking just to be drinking in my opinion because you want to call me up then you want to keep facetiming me like if you you he, you know he asked if he can call me and I, yes you can call me okay you can call me i let him call me but now you like taking it calling when you ask me can i call you is it right if i call you that means we're gonna verbally speak don't facetime me like i'm not really good for that facetime shit. especially if i don't really fuck with you like that like if you're not one of my kids don't just facetime me i don't i don't like that that's like an intrusion of my like an invasion of my privacy like to me it is okay let me let me come back to that because i gotta drop the baby off i'll be right so back. anyway drop the baby off oh, i forgot to tell you guys um so potato she now eats baby food she eats baby food um she has she's been eating cereal for like the past week but she don't really like it like i don't think she really likes the cereal but so friday you know my daughter tati she made her um some applesauce you know fresh applesauce she used her little blender that she had got for um her her baby shower her welcome shower so we finally got to use her her um her baby um bullet um so tati made her some applesauce you know homemade applesauce she um you know pureed the apples and stuff she used to make um, baby food for tinky so she know how to do all that i don't know about that stuff i will go buy you a jar of applesauce in a minute so <laughs> she made her that and it come the, the 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 bullet thing comes with these little containers and girl let me tell y'all potato potato is loving it but she's so greedy like she's so greedy she be eating all like about three ounces of applesauce then she'll want a bottle like she's greedy like i was saying i dodged a bullet love him to pieces will always love him some people probably gonna be like why you love him why you? but you don't you don't just automatically start hating the people because if that's the case you never loved them in the first place right so of course yes i still do love him he was my husband we've been together for 23 years you know he's the father of my children so why wouldn't i love him right like that would make complete sense like I, you know what i'm saying i don't know about y'all but it makes complete sense to me i don't understand why people go backwards like you, you've been clean for all of this time regardless if it's alcohol or drugs don't go backwards you know what i'm saying because like I, I i am disappointed i am very disappointed but i do understand like you know it can be a certain things can be a trigger to people and that's the reason why they might slide back into their bad habits but the thing that gets me is like don't be calling me up under the influence and then expect me to go along with the foolish foolishness that you're talking about like but let me tell y'all so he was calling me and calling me he first he, he texted me and i could tell by his text messages that he was like off already you know already sipping that i got four messages back to back and i could just read them and tell by the misspelling by the wording i, I mean you know what i'm saying i know this person he calls and we talking and he asked me five times within two minutes how am i doing how am i doing like okay i get it so we just chat we talking you know and certain things just make me feel not really uncomfortable but i get what you where you coming from and i'm glad that you can express your feelings towards me but sometimes i don't really want to hear all that shit because you under the influence and say that shit to me when you're not under the influence but you don't really even have to say it to me anymore to be honest anyway we talking we talking i'm hearing some female in the background talking about john who you on the phone with john who you talking to like what like hold the fuck up hold the fuck up he traveled for his job now so he say so you're supposed to be in indiana and you got some random girl in the background talking because he live in a hotel you got some random chick talking about who you on the phone with he trying to tell me that that's not his girlfriend that it's his man's girl that like him you 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 got me i was like you got me all the way messed up if you think that i'm supposed to believe that shit. like you really got me all the way messed up if you really think that i believe that shit. i said listen don't ever disrespect me all right don't don't disrespect me i had to like send him a whole text message and then then i had blocked him but he still was getting through with facetime kept facetime on my phone i answered him once i was like yo you really need to um to just to chill i was like go go hang out with your girlfriend in the bathroom that ain't my girl I'm fuck with that bitch. that ain't my like okay well whatever the fuck she is to you obviously she's something and she asking you who you talking to on the phone 
either way, it was like, oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God, for allowing me to dodge the bullet with him. Because nine times out of ten, you probably would have went back to drinking. I had to send him a, big, a long text message the next day. You know, basically, I was like, you know, you would think that April, me, April, go through enough. You know, you would think that I've been through enough. I said, but nope, here you come to act along to the nonsense. You know, I had to break it down to him and then and shit. Like, I hate to have to break it down to people, but it seemed like sometimes you got to, like, really go adult on certain people. And you would think, like, yo, you an adult, you should know better by now, right? Not everybody know better as an adult. Not everybody. You know what I'm saying? Not everybody you think that's supposed to be an adult is an adult. Straight up. And he is definitely not that. And I'm not going to talk bad about the guy, but it is what it is. And you know what? I'm not a holy roller or anything like that. I'm not about to sit here and preach to anybody because that's not me because I never liked it done to me. And I would just say this. My faith has gotten a lot stronger over the past couple of years. So I can't sit here and tell you how to live your life and what's godly and what's not. I just follow my heart and my faith. But this morning I was, you know, scrolling through YouTube. And anyway, as I was scrolling, this young man popped up on my screen. He just talking about how the devil will try to get you by bringing certain people into your life. So he texted me this morning when I woke up. He texted me and basically it was like an apology, but trying to say, you know, that it was just a basic apology. You know, it was an apology. It was a long paragraph apology. And, you know, just talking about himself. And, oh, he was trying to explain the female. He don't even deal with her. So he was dead wrong for even calling me for her there. Somebody he don't even deal with. Like, I don't really care if you don't deal with her or not. You don't need to explain to me because I don't really care. You know what I'm saying? At this point in my life, I don't really care. Like, at this point in my life, I really don't care. Like, you know what I'm saying? It, it doesn't matter to me. Okay, you don't need to explain to me if, if you deal with the person or not, the girl or not. I don't, I don't care. Like, straight up, I don't care. And I think a lot of it had to do with my text message basically saying, you haven't been embarrassed enough by me. You would think by now that you've embarrassed yourself enough around me. Which is true. Like, you know, if a person keeps telling you how you be acting drunk and the things you do, you would think like... <sighs> All right, let me chill because I am making a fool out of myself. I know I don't like to be embarrassed, okay? I don't like embarrassing myself. And once I find out that I've embarrassed myself, I do feel embarrassed again, okay? Do not come to me with your negative antics. I'm not for the foolishness. He'll be all right. And so will I. So, hey, you guys. I brought the boys up in here today into the Dollar Tree. I haven't been here in, like, a couple of months. So I figured I will come through and see what they had. I don't really need to be buying anything but some candles for Wuzzle. You know how I like his candles every night. But I figured I will come here because the Dollar Tree next to Sharina, my daughter-in-law's house, they have Dollar Tree Plus. It's like the section where they have other items that's like 3 4 and $5. So I was coming to see what they had, if they had that here too. Um, but also to get the candles for Wuzzle. So I'm going to do that, but I'm also going to check and see if they have that certain section called Dollar Tree Plus in here. But they do got like a whole bunch of cute little things. Organizer tray. That's cute. Um, you just put it, you can hang it up. That's really cute. Look, they even got this Ardell Camouflage, Camouflage High Def Foundation. And they probably don't have my color. Makeup Mixer, Ardell Attitude Adjuster shade fx drops oh, okay so they got that here yeah i don't foresee them having my color um they got like a darker brown um, and these are like basically red tones they had a bunch of ardell stuff though they do what is this ardell what is this shadow stick no filter needed concealer coverage concealers these are cute um but i don't need that stuff so i'm not gonna buy it maybe i'll buy one let's see this color looks like it'll be close medium full coverage highly pigmented all right so we're gonna try this i'm gonna try that that's the first thing i got in my cart then they got more of these lashes they come like this now which i don't even need these um look let me not try to buy stuff i don't need makeup brush holders in three different colors cute they got some cute stuff but um i came here for certain stuff and that's what i'm gonna get 
I'm not going to allow, whoa, infuse, be pure. Okay, pressed powder, be pure pressed powder. All right, what's the color? It doesn't even tell you the color, so now you have to open up every box. Yeah, not my color, it's like a white. But, um, yeah, I came in here for what I came in here for. The boys is in here, too. Um, they look, I told them they can each get two things, so um, I let them go and get, like, two items each. But also, I did need some facial wipes. Oh, these are men's facial wipes. The one time I got lucky, I came in here and used, uh, they would give me two packs for one. I ain't got those no more. And, um... I'm gonna try these. Right here. Three of those. Um, cons. I'll try three of those. That's like four dollars. And of course, I'm gonna come and look in the uh, section. That's what I wanted to get Mumsy some crochet hooks. And they didn't have any of the other Dollar Tree, so they only got knitting needles. I know they had like some crochet hooks. Hey, did y'all pick out stuff? Yeah, I just need one more thing. I know they had some crochet hooks here. One time I seen some, but I don't know. I'm not seeing them. Maybe if I go, I'll go next door because mumsy has been looking at videos of how to crochet and stuff. And so I figured I'll get her like, you know, I'll start her off with some some stuff from here. So what you got? Army guys and that? Okay. <sighs> I'm looking for a crochet needle for mumsy. Let me see what else they got, guys. What's up, guys? What's up? What's up? So, on my way to, you know, the place of business where they, where you're supposed to, like, tone and lose weight. Just dropped off a uh, potato. So, if you guys are like, you got the car seat in wrong, you don't have the car seat in right, there's no baby in the car seat. There's no baby in the car seat. So, for you guys who are like, you got the car seat all wrong, there's no baby in the car seat. Okay? Time to go and get this money, you know, this workout in. Girl, I'm trying um heading to the gym now after the gym i'm gonna go get some gas from sam's club and i know i'm gonna be on that line i know there's a gas line so you boys i'm gonna just take my butt in the gym i'm gonna get pumped up because i'm like three minutes away i'm gonna get pumped up <sighs> get that energy going pump it up pump it up pump it up i'm gonna get pumped up I'm going to just keep going on this journey. You know what I'm saying? I don't care if I don't lose 25, 30 pounds. As long as I'm taking my ass to the gym and getting some type of motivation and exercise. Because I don't want my bones to get old and stiff. Then I'm doing good, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, girls. Okay, okay. Done with this workout. You see me glistening a little bit. I had to wipe the sweat down, put some cold water on my face. And shit, but I did sweat my little edges out. But it's all good. You know, an hour. This is hour. Just an hour, girl. I wasn't trying to be. Look, I'm not like my daughter, Nay. She be it. She be there. Nay be at the gym for like three, four hours. No lie. Like she lived there. I just go to visit. Okay. Tati asked us today was we going to the gym together because we both had a workout stuff on and we both was going to the gym. But she go to another EOS, which is further from the house. They're a little bit bougier over there. I'm not trying to be driving all the way over there. Tati was like, y'all going to the gym together? I was like, no. We both was like, no. I said, she going to live there. I'm going to visit. I can't be at no gym for like three, four hours. An hour is enough. Even an hour and a half. I did make it to two hours quite a few times. But I ain't trying to be living there, okay? I'm just trying to visit. That's it. Get my little $10 a month membership um, in. You know what I'm saying? Nay be there like forever, forever. I, I, I can't be like her. When I tell you I am sitting in my car on this long line for gas at Sam's Club, like, it is really 35 cents cheaper, but oh my god, it's like about 12, like now, it's like about 15 cars ahead of me, and there's, mind you, there's mad pumps, but the line is so long, so I'm like, do I really want to sit here and wait for this long line for gas, but... I mean, when you think about it, it's like 30 cents. I will save like $3. Go figure. Look at this line. This is the line. All the way over there. Yes, I'm, I'm going to sit here and wait. Um, I guess I'll just check my email. Okay. That's what I'll do. Until I get to the pump. Moving on up. To the gas pump. Yes. So I'll be there in a quick cock second. And then I'm going to go to Walmart. This 
line does actually go fast. So it's 12 pumps. It's actually 12 pumps going together. But the line goes um, pretty fast. The gas does, you are saving 40 cents a gallon versus going to the gas station, okay? Or having to use points if you have a Sam's Club card. And it's the same price like with Costco too. So, I mean, I'm gonna just sit my ass here and wait. I got one car ahead of me. But here I go, it's my turn. Yes, yes, honey, my turn. So now I'm just walking around here, seeing what they got. I have wanted like a fanny pack. So I'm trying to see how much they are. Cause you know, Walmart got pricey y'all. They got a little bit pricey with their stuff. You know, they getting like, Walmart is becoming like the new Fashion Nova. You got to get the stuff on clearance at Walmart unless you want to pay an arm and a leg. Like they be having some cute stuff, but I'm not about to pay. Like it was a cute fanny pack by Reebok. How much do you want for this? Okay, so this ain't so bad. $18. But I don't really want it to say Reebok. I, might, I, really, I, I definitely don't want it in a pink color. So $18 isn't bad because it's Reebok. So I just want something, a plain color one. You know, it's a fanny pack. It's a fupa hider. That's what it is. Now, all the fanny packs I'm finding is not up to my liking. I don't know what that, that's just justice. I just want a fanny pack. You know when you want something, you can never find it. I guess it's not my fanny pack day. Because, oh, these are cute. Now, y'all know I'm old if I'm trying to be putting on. You know what? No. Definitely not. Okay. Keep it moving, April. No. I think I'm going to look on Amazon because maybe I could find like a plus size fanny pack. If that's what I'm looking for because those things is way too small. I don't know why I'm in a clothes section, but I figured I would just look around because I do like to do that a lot. You see I'm sweating, okay? This is me having a hot flash right now. Yes. Oh, child. Let me order my iced coffee so I can get my ass home. It's late. I know y'all, some of y'all just getting up. Okay, and that's cool too. That's fine. But it's late for me. I hit the snooze. Didn't get out the bed until 7.39. I really do want to switch my time to at least like 6.30 or 7 o'clock because I know I don't have to take the boys to school, but I still have to take uh, potato to daycare and I still want to get up and do things for myself. And you know, it gets really hot out here really, really early. And it is, like I said, it is 926 and the, the weather right now is 97 degrees outside. So when you come outside in the morning to go to work or to just start your day, it already be hot, you know? So I really do be wanting to, you know, get moving, like at least be out the house by eight o'clock and not 830 or 845 because, you know, a girl got to take her behind the gym but oh i wanted to go to target because i wanted to check out tabitha's um line that had just launched on the 11th of june tabitha i think her last name is brown tabitha brown um i hope it is because i hate to mess up people's name but um anyway we went to check that out and i had already seen it online and like on tiktok so i wanted to check it out because it was just so colorful and pretty and you know i love the way tabitha was wearing it and i just loved her whole explanation and her excitement and her and her enthusiasm about her own line. So I have wanted to go and show, you know, my support and maybe find something that might, you know, maybe work for me. And I, you know, I have wanted something maybe like something summery. It's just something different. I don't really go anywhere, so it's not like I don't know why I buy clothes and I don't go anywhere. So I really don't buy too many clothes for myself anymore because I don't go anywhere and I just feel like if I gotta lose weight, then why buy something that I'm not gonna be able to wear for too long, hopefully. Well, we got to Target, and um, a lot of things were sold out in, like, my size. and Not a lot of things, but the things that I would have chosen were, like, sold out of my size. Um, it's very colorful, and it's very pretty. Her um, her collection, very colorful, very pretty. And I love the thought she put into it. But I, I didn't end up getting anything from her line, only because the certain colors I just don't like by myself. 
But I did find something from another brand that Target always has called, I think it's called Ava, A-V-A. They cater to plus size clothing. They also have like, you know, non plus size clothing, but they have like their own little plus size section in Target. So I had got like a short set with matching shirt, like a two piece short set. And at first I was like, I don't know about this cause I don't know about this. I'm too big for this. I don't know about this. I don't know how I'm gonna pull this off. My kids said it looked cute on me. You ever get in the fitting room? Like, for one, I just don't like to go to the fitting room like that. Because it's not that I don't like to go. Because I do like to make sure my clothes fit. But, girl. Girl. I hate to take off my clothes in the fitting room. First of all, I need, like, one of the bigger rooms. But I get really irritated if I have to take off all my clothes. And the outfit that I'm trying on doesn't work out for me. And I don't like it on me or whatever. Then it's like, wow, I just wasted valuable time taking off my clothes for nothing like it's not that i wasted it but you know you just i don't i don't know when i when i get dressed i want to stay dressed until i'm ready to get undressed so i tried it on and, and um, my daughter was like it looks so cute on you so i bought that and i bought some legging biker shorts some biker shorts that was three dollars and fifty cents on the clearance honey and got them suckers on right now so that i could work out in them right here at this place that we call the gym that I'll be visiting. Now that was a deal. I love a good deal. 350. Let me take my ass in here real quick. Ugh. All done, guys. All done. Now I'm about to go to my son's house to pick up Tinky. He went over there last night to spend the night, hang out. So I'm gonna go get him. Then I'm gonna come on back home, y'all. Okay. I'm gonna come on back home. It is now 110 degrees outside and it's 11.05. Y'all see what I'm talking about about this heat out here, okay? Got my new little three um three dollar shorts on. Let me show y'all real quick. Three dollars, three dollar shorts. Okay. Go get this young man. Take my butt home. All right. Y'all see my little three dollar outfit. not to be messing with me so we're gonna go in this grocery store real quick and pay this electric bill and then we're gonna get some mcdonald's after and we're gonna go home looking like that huh you're supposed to be smiling why are you looking like that mm -hmm. supposed to be smiling i wanted to see if any of these was on sale because sometimes they be on sale or clearance rather so let's see Sometimes I could find lettuce for like a dollar. And I probably was slow rolling today. But, nope. Like these, $2.49, normally $5, reduced, half off. $1.99 for this one. These are really good. Look at these. Yes, I will buy these. This is five dollars reduced from ten. Uh, let's see. What's up? Yeah. I got some of this at home. Uh, what's up? I'm listening to you. Spicy guacamole blender. I don't like guacamole anymore after that. 
medium pico de gallo for a dollar. That'll work. This is a good price. Oh, yeah, carrots, right? Well, I don't need them. No. Green peppers. Oh, these are jalapeno halves. $1.99. And there's onions. From three dollars to a dollar. This is, and it's just, you know, and they have the dollar ninety nine ones. All same, all good. I see it's the balloon. Come over here with, with my mom. So I'm just gonna get some bread. I usually get like a certain type of bread, um, but I'm not seeing it. And you know, the prices of bread is they done surely went up. And a girl's not about to pay five dollars a loaf. Oh yeah, they're bugging. It's not even on sale. It is. I like this bread. Nature's own. This bread is really good, but it's four twenty nine. So and it's not on sale, and I'm not about to pay four twenty nine. Textured and mildly sweet. We're gonna try this. It is two fifty. Okay. Or final cost for digital coupon a dollar seventy nine. Okay. Let's Hold see what up. else we gotta get, boys. Come on. All right. So now I'm gonna get the bread for a dollar ninety seven. That's what's up. I like dollar ninety seven bread. Let's see what they have over here for the bread. Reduced price selection. So you didn't really save anything but 50 cents. They didn't really reduce this to anything. Come over here, hon. Come here. Shopping for reduced prices. $3. So I mean, like, if you're on a budget, these are good. Get a whole steak, roast, whatever, you know. Come on, you guys. I think that's... I think that's about, oh yes, let me pay the electric bill. Ready? Come on. So we got pancake right here. Oh, mama. Who decided she gonna make a wig bed out of my wig? She's just gonna go ahead and lay on them. Okay, it works. Uh, I'm gonna need to have one more 
I really did need to um style these wigs. Excuse me. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, make yourself comfortable. Definitely. I love it. Okay. Are you good? I guess she's good. She's definitely good. She's made herself a wig bed. Girl, you are laying all on my wigs, okay? She's like, well, you got your wigs in my spot. Come here. Yeah. We're going we gonna to move these wigs. All right. Now you got your little spot. Okay. Sorry, I put my wigs up there. Okay. okay. I love you. With their haircut. Yes, you look cute. Yes, you do. You want to tell everyone how cute you look? Yes, who looks so cute? Yes, yeah, I love getting my hair cut by Jordan. She does so well. Yes, nobody's shabby. Nobody is shamra. Tell them you got right cereal. Look. Mmm. Who's eating cereal now? Right? Yeah. You like it? I know you do. Here you go, honey. Do, 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 do. Come on, honey. Being so nosy watching Mumsy. Mm. Come on, good girl. Say hi, everyone. Say hi. Say hi, everyone. Big boo. <laughs> Big boo. <laughs> Big boo. <laughs> Big boo. 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 Hey guys. That's how I can get it. It is hot, right? Oh my God, what does it say? Oh, I don't know yet. It's probably going to say like 150,000. Huh? It says 126 degrees. Hey, you guys. So, me and Nay are hanging out. We're going to lunch, my birthday dinner, our birthday lunch. We're going to go hang out. We're going to go to birthday eat. Brunch. Birthday brunch. We're going to go to eat, and we're going to go to Bath and Body Works sale. Nay got me a gift card from Bath and Body for my birthday. Plus, I had the other one still from Christmas. I had that one left. That's good. $40. Extra money. I know. I, you know, I would have been spent that, though. Yeah, but their sales haven't been really good, so. No, I got very uninterested in um, Bath and Body Works. I don't like it as much as I used to. So I got my Target outfit on. This is my Target birthday outfit that I bought. Um, and Tati and the kiddos, they got me a birthday bag. So, and Tati painted my toenails, like this yellow color. Okay, so, yes, we're going to, we're going to go to Kabuki. It's a Japanese sushi restaurant. Um, they sell sushi, uh, noodles. Think. They cook the you cook the food, right? That no, no, that's that's another one. Well, but then we go there. We did go there for Mumsy's birthday. That was Mana Barbecue. That's oh, that's not one. that wasn't Kabuki. No, Kabuki oh, is the one that's upstairs. That you we did go the, upstairs. That was for I think that was for Mumsy's promotion. It was for Mumsy's. That wasn't Mumsy's birthday though. I don't know, and they Mumsy's brought birth, the Mumsy's birthday. We, we cooked it in the middle yeah, of the table. That was for Mumsy's birthday. What is that? What was that? Was wasn't Mumsy's Kabuki? Birthday? No, that was the graduation. No, it wasn't. That was Mumsy's birthday. We. Oh, okay. So it was her birthday. 
we went to Kabuki for we went to Kabuki for, for graduation. For the graduation. We went right. To the, okay. The one you can cook yourself. Your grown. food. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We why did I go this way? I don't know. Okay. Why did I think I'm thinking that the other one was Kabuki? So we made it, you guys, right here at the Westgate Plaza Tanker Outlets. So The body works now. Lunch was so good. I am stuffed. I couldn't eat it all. I was trying to lose weight. Y'all see my face is chunky. Okay, I'm trying. I'm so stuffed. I can't even drive. Okay, so we got Nay here driving the whip. Whippity dip dip. We about to go. Um, now we're going to Bath and Body Works, which is across the street. We're at the outlet. Um, it's hot. It is 100. And I think it's at one. On the dashboard, it's saying 128. Damn, my earrings are burning my ear. It's so hot that the hair. You can feel the heat from this synthetic braid. Serious, like for real. You can feel, go through it. I was. Oh, okay. Like you can feel the heat from the synthetic hair. That's how hot it is outside. On the dashboard, it says 128, because you know, it's not really 128, but that's because it's on the dashboard. The car is sitting in the heat. But uh, the weather the bureau said 10, I think it said 107. Go figure, 107. And I'm telling you, this is the hell state. We live in hell. And though I ain't never been to hell, I'm just saying, I'm like this is probably what, right? This is yeah, probably what I'm more purple here because it's still kind of hard. Is it? I mean, well, should we go to the other one? You want to go to the one by our house that we always go to and then we can just get the baby after? Because we always go to that one. one. Park, um, the one over there in Goodyear? Or do you want to go to the one in Park West? Now when we still got to, I mean, maybe we can get a parking spot right in front of the building because, you know, maybe. people's at work. Or do you want to go to the one in Goodyear? Oh, try the one in uh, I was just at the one in Goodyear to get your thing. I don't know how why I really look. wasn't paying attention. 
because we don't really want to walk too far inside it, the outlets it, it with bags. Good. It seems like a pretty yeah. decent deal, yeah. Okay, so we go to whichever one you want to go to. It's not really far. Okay. You know how to get there? Yeah. Oh, okay. Park West or the Denier one? The Park West one? You want to go there? We can try it. Right. There I know. They were supposed to make that Forever 21 over there. Never did. Never, never did. So we're going to go to, we're not going to this one right here. It's too damn hot to be carrying some bags back out the damn outlet malls to park that spot. Like, I'm not about, I'm not with over that. Like, this is an outlet mall. Like, I'm not with carrying fucking candles and no heavy bags and no heat through the entire outlet to get back to the parking spot. Like, um, I'll just go to the other bathroom. Like, it's just too hot for that. Like, no, not today. Huh? Rolling Rack Boutique. Rolling Rack Boutique. What is that? It's like, um, that sounds familiar. What is that? It's a boutique where they go. That's where Tati told me to go and get my first wax for free. No. Yeah, it is. Sugar? I was yes. talking about the boutique right there. No, now. but I'm talking about oh, Tati yeah, told me yeah. to go there yeah. and get my first wax um, for free. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. Ooh, girl came right on time. Thank you. Yeah, Ooh. Look, they ten ninety five. My oldest daughter wants to get her hair so you know how expensive it is. Yeah, that's very true. You know, it's so hot. This is this is a deal. Ten ninety five. I'm like, okay, I'll get can I'll get a candle and then I'll get some lotion. Many lotion. You said a candle. I don't have. I'm trying to have a limit. Oh, uh, me too. I'm just gonna use what's on my um gift card. I think, maybe. I think I have. I, I, mean, I should I ask her. Forty dollars. Don't nobody like it to be like the dashboard say right now, 122 degrees, even though it's really not, but still, it's hot. Look, I just walked from the car to the store, and the store was right in front of the car. Y'all, it's hot. This is makes no sense kind of hot. And you know, when you first get in the car, you gotta roll the windows down until they cool off because I'm not about to be smothered to death, okay? So, yes, we got some stuff though. I'm about to roll the window up now. Yes, it definitely is. We did get some stuff though. Nay had her budget. I had my budget. I did go over. Well, I spent fifty-two dollars on my own because I had I had um gift cards from Nay. Two dollars on your own? I thought you said like nine dollars on your own. Well, I was gonna spend only nine dollars on my own with some candles, but I seen the smell good stuff, and I, I like smell ones. I just got a couple of body sprays, one for me, a couple for Tati. You know, I like to show my appreciation and stuff, and for the people that didn't come along with us and get anything, I want to make sure that they get something too. You know. So I just, you know, that's just me. Make sure that everybody has something. But now we're going to pick up potato, okay? Yes, I spent fifty two dollars on my own. I got ten candles because they was ten ninety five a piece, y'all. Yeah? And I found some really decent ones, okay? And I got a couple body sprays and two lotions. I'm not really like a huge fan of their lotion like that anymore. Plus, I have like a whole basket in the shelf full of those lotions, and they go bad after a while. They get runnier. The creamy ones get runny. You ever noticed that? Yeah. They look a chunky, runny feel. They're still good, but when you shake it up, it sounds even looser. And it has a different type of texture, so it might not be the same. Don't take it from me, you guys. But, um, those are the more expensive anything. Yeah, those ones are the more expensive ones, and they don't last as long as the, um, the cheaper ones. Either way, I like to use cocoa butter, so, you know, I'm a cocoa butter type girl. So. But if you use the Bath & Body Works lotion, you still got to use cocoa butter, too, because that stuff does not moisturize and hydrate you for too long. You just smell good. And I like to smell good too, but I, I don't want to look dry and ashy. So now we're going to go get potato, then we're going to go home. I don't know about name, but I ain't coming back outside. It's too damn hot. 